Hey YouTubers, name's Andrew and I'm back with another video of uh, how to paint your car using Blasi Dip or actually anything or any surface that you might like to actually get it painted and the best part is using Blasi Dip, if you don't like it, you can always peel it off like I explained in the previous video of mine uh, it comes in different colors as well So, but I'm doing the black because I, try, I, I just want to black out a few things in my car and today I'm going to show you guys how to paint a side mirror for a car, uh, especially the panel. And it's very easy, it's simple, it's uh, user friendly. And like I said, if you don't like it, after a while you, want, you might just might want to change it back to the original color. Or you want to change to a different color altogether. You can always peel it off and you know respray the whole thing. And it doesn't hurt your paint, it protects your paint and um, it lasts pretty well because I've been painting my car for a few months now you know painting a few spots here and there and it still lasts me till now so today I'm going to show you how to paint a side mirror and I'll show you it's a it's a basic tutorial on how you can do so and you can do it on anything not only on your car but any other surface that you like and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and you learn as much as you can enjoy well like I said these are the materials that we need to be using today first and foremost this is the rubber flim spray that I was talking about it's quite cheap not too bad this one is in black some painters tape some microfiber cloth some newspaper for the wrapping and let's get painting okay first and foremost most important cleaning of the surface is very very important so this is a normal soap oil grease remover that I'm using and a microfiber cloth so just spray and just wipe it this is to make sure it sticks it doesn't come off so the most important part is the cleaning and prepping please take your time make sure it has to be very dry before doing anything and now we proceed to the wrapping. Hey guys, as you can see, this is how I wrapped up. <laughs> the reason why you see a lot of papers would be simple. I don't want to do too much of cleanup later on. Even though it doesn't matter if it hits the body, I only want the white part to be black. So this is so that I have less cleaning afterwards. As you can see, I left some place exposed. It doesn't matter. So. You guys can do it with minimal papers if you want or masking. Do remember, take your time and look, I have done it this way. So there's a gap between the black and the white so later it will peel off very easily. So let's get to painting. Alright, once that is done, uh, first and foremost you need to shake the can really well for at least about 5 to 10 minutes so that everything gets mixed up so you don't get a lot of chunks. And uh, first and foremost, I'm going to show you how to do the first coat. First coat, very simple. Check your nozzle. Always have a test spray anywhere else on the paper. Done. Remember, your first coat should be like 50% transparency. Don't do one thick coat at one time. So here it goes. That's it, that's your first coat. Alright, this is uh, coat number two. Remember, wait at least about 10 to 15 minutes between coats. Take your time, trust me, it's worth it. Done. Alright guys, this is the fifth and final coating that I'm going to do. In total, I'm doing five. Um, reason why I'm doing five, you can do four to five coats. So I've been waiting for like 
10 to 15 minutes between every and uh, this is the last and fifth coat after this we're going to get to peeling and um, you can see what's the final results this is the last one Okay, we're gonna remove all the papers and um, we're gonna leave it to dry for at least to 20 minutes to about 40 minutes the longer you wait the better and uh, so I'm gonna start peeling and then after that we will do the finish a bit later You can see now it looks pretty cool. The black. Now wait. So guys, I'm gonna show you how is it to peel off the certain areas that you don't like. It's like for example my signal light is over here. So I'm gonna start by and get one corner. See, comes off really easily. As long as there's a separation, it's going to be easy to come off. That's it. See, now I'm going to finish up the rest of the areas, like the sides. See like this, I'm going to remove everything and once everything is done, I'm going to clean it up in the back and it's all done. As you can see, I cleaned up most of the trims, everything is cleaned up, no residue left. I did put on signal light, removed it and it's all done, that easy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys soon.